In a healthy person, the heart pumps blood to parts of the body such as the brain, the liver, and other important organs. This is to ensure adequate blood supply to enable function and sustain life. In certain cases, the regular pumping action of the heart can be disrupted by dangerous heart rhythms known as ventricular tachycardia or fibrillation. When the heart is in such rhythms, the heart fails as a pump and the blood supply to important organs are affected. This may even result in death. The main life-saving treatment during such times is usually an electrical shock to the heart, also known as defibrillation. However, this may not always be readily available. Thus, for patients whose heart conditions predispose them to these life-threatening rhythms, placement of an implantable cardiac defibrillator will ensure that they will get a life-saving shock when needed. An ICD is a pump-sized battery-powered device placed under the skin, which is used to treat dangerous heart rhythms. Thin wires connect the device to your heart, keeping track of your heart rate. If a dangerous heart rhythm is detected, the device will deliver an electric shock to restore normal heartbeat. ICDs have been very useful in saving lives in these patients. An ICD is recommended in patients with weak heart function, survivors of sudden cardiac arrest, or those with an underlying heart condition that increases their risk of these dangerous heart rhythms. Your heart doctor will inform you should you be eligible for an ICD. During the procedure, you will be lightly sedated but awake. The ICD is usually placed in the upper part of your chest. A local anesthetic will be given to numb the area. A small cut will then be made and a pocket formed under the skin. The wires will be passed through the blood vessels into your heart under X-ray guidance. The battery is then connected to the wires and placed underneath your skin. At this point, if needed, you will be put to sleep for a few minutes during which the ICD will be tested to ensure it is functioning properly. The skin is then closed with absorbable stitches. The whole procedure will take around an hour. The ICD saves lives by helping to shock dangerous heart rhythms when they occur. This helps reduce the risk of sudden death by at least half. Complications include bleeding, infection, punctured lung and heart wall, wire dislodgement, device malfunction, inappropriate shocks, lead fracture. Generally, serious immediate complications are uncommon at about 1%. The ICD can last on average 5 to 7 years depending on how much battery is used. After the procedure is completed, you will be taken back to the ward for recovery. If there are no complications, you may be discharged the next day. You should not carry heavy loads for 6 to 8 weeks or lift your arm higher than shoulder level for 2 weeks. You should return for your scheduled follow-up visits.